antibacterial soap. So first of all, let's uh, let's see what is antibacterial soap. Antibacterial in the, our market, about seventy-five percent of the products are antibacterial, uh, and the most important common product, chemical used in the uh, antibacterial products are trichlorian and trichlocarbon. Um, along with it, benzalkionium chloride, uh, alcohol, and other antibiotics are used. This is the structure of trichlorian, and this is the structure of trichlocarbon. Uh, this is the structure of the screen. Par rakho, फौरन नीचे करोगे तो पता नहीं लगेगा ताकि पूरा नजर आए थोड़ा सा पीछे करो ओके एक मिनट चलो ठीक एंड दिस वन इज ट्राइक्लोकार्बन ओके सो हाउ द एंटीबैक्टीरियल सोप्स प्रिवेंट द कंज्यूमर्स एंटीबैक्टीरियल सोप्स आर uh, hydrophobic molecules due to the presence of trichlorian and trichlocarbons. So they, uh, these hydrophobic molecules penetrate the cell membrane of the uh, bacteria and kill it. Sounds impressive, but it can only kill the simple bacteria, not the mutant one. As we know that the, after some time, the bacteria get mutant uh, and produce immunity against those antibiotics to prevent their cells. So what should we do? To, uh, to kill those mutant bacteria. The scientist says, or and the FAG says, that we should use simple or regular soap. Why? Because it has a polar head and non-polar tail. The non-polar tail attached with the uh, dirt and the oil part, so, uh, and the hydrophobic uh, molecules, uh, hydrophobic uh, part of that uh, soap, uh, stays on the outside and when the water comes, uh, it uh, drains out and clean all the dirt, bacteria and oils from the surface of the uh, body. So uh, FAD and other uh, organizations says to use regular soaps instead of antibacterial soaps. So uh, let's now let's see what are the other ingredients present in the soaps because antibacterial soaps and the re uh, regular soaps have the same formula uh, composition other than that the antibiotic molecules chemicals like trichlorian and trichlocarbon are further added first of all uh, the uh, ingredient of the soap is basic oils come from animal plants animal fat or plants lye lye is very necessary for formation of the soap without lye there is no soap there are two types of lye uh, potassium uh, hydroxide uh, and sodium hydroxide. Combination of two sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide uh, makes liquid soap, whereas sodium hydroxide is used in uh, solid soap. Then comes scent for the smell and the color used to uh, use in the uh, soap. Then sodium lurate sulfate and sodium lauryl sulfate both these chemicals are used uh, used to clean the dirt uh, particles uh, and uh, 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 bacteria oils and other residues lauryl uh, whereas is more stronger than lauryl and has a little bit longer uh, polar chain uh, than lauryl sulfate Then uh, we can also produce these soaps in our labs for the uh, for the, the process you know, uh, uh, by which the soap is produced in the lab is called quantification, in which fat plus lye uh, uh, are uh, in the result produce soaps and uh, soap and glycerol. The material we require for formation of soap in the lab are warm olive oil. Nine mole sodium hydroxide, which is a lye, uh, food color, fragrance, steric acid. A equipments 250 ml tall beaker, plastic steering rod, glass pipette, and pipette bulbs. The procedure is that take olive oil in a beaker at 35 degrees 
in 250 ml beaker. Choose the fragrance, add two, one or two drops of uh, fragrance in the oil, then add 3 ml of sodium hydroxide in the beaker and stir it with the plastic rod. Then add two to three drops of food color and stir it for 20 to 45 minutes. Then add steric acid for hardness of the soap and then pour it into the con uh, uh, pouring container to shape in, shape in the, uh, sorry, your charger. Shape in the product, uh, shape in the soap and uh, and let it cool for 12 hours. After 12 hours, you can get product in the form of soap. Now comes towards the pros of antibacterial soap. As we know, uh, in the pre uh, today's condition, we are facing a pandemic condition all over the world, and the doctors are saying to use these antibacterial soaps to kill these bacteria and viruses. So antibacterial soaps are very helpful in the hospitals, healthcare, nursing house and other medical services to uh, for those patients who have less immunity against these bacteria. These are also used in the lack of water, like uh, if you use sanitizers, which have uh, at least 60% of alcohol level in it, can kill the bacteria and the water. Then it comes the, uh, it's also used in the surgical instruments, uh, in the veterinary office, People, those have pets in their homes that can use these bacteria. The cons of the uh, antibacterial soaps, in 2005, FDA, Food Drug Association, banned the use of trichlorine and trichlorocarbon because the companies were not able to tell the uh, harmful effects of these uh, products uh, uh, to the consumer and the environment. Later, they uh, joined the collaboration with the FAD and EPD in a collaboration to uh, done a study and research on these chemicals hazards to the uh, environment and the human uh, sources. They come to many researches that it can affect hormones, muscle function, uh, cause allergies, and also affect the environment. They, uh, in destroying the hormones, they come to study that, according to this study, they think that trichloroethylene also affect the hormones of the human because it is already affecting the hormones uh, uh, some hormones of red uh, and they are not sure that how much extent that they can affect the human hormones and uh, health then it, it also affecting the muscle functioning uh, at cellular level uh, and uh, it's the risk of allergies because these allergies are caused by a mutant bacteria. As we studied earlier, that antibacterial soaps can only kill the simple bacteria, not the mutant one. They need to update the uh, antibacterial uh, chemical or products for, uh, to kill the mutant one. It is also affecting the environment. The chemicals go to the uh, river pond and uh, affect the marine life. Then we use that water for the irrigation for our crops and drinking purposes. In the cycle, we get getting infected by these uh, 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 these chemicals. It is also proven that uh, the, that regular soaps are good, not the uh, uh, antibacterial one, because most of the diseases are caused by viruses, not by bacteria. And bacterial soaps can only kill bacteria, not the viruses. So what should we do to uh, uh, in the alternative way for the antibacterial chemicals? We can use the natural antibacterial uh, ingredients such as honey, cinnamon, apple vinegar, etc., which are antibacterial and antiviral and uh, helpful for our skin and then one. That's all from my side. Thank you all. अच्छा इसमें इत्तेशाम आप ये बताएं कि आपने कहा कि ये वायरस के लिए वायरस की स्ट्रक्चर और बैक्टीरिया की स्ट्रक्चर में क्या फर्क होता है वायरस का स्ट्रक्चर सर प्रोटीन जो होती है उसके आउटर लेयर पे 
और टेंड्रॉन्स होते हैं वायरस के आउटर साइड में उसके अंदर फ्लैजला होता है बैक्टीरियम जो स्टीम लोकोमोशन में हेल्प आउट करता है नहीं जैसे अगर कोरोना वायरस है इसका स्ट्रक्चर में और आम वायरस के स्ट्रक्चर में क्या फर्क है इसके वायरस में सर प्रोटीन है जो इसके मेम्ब्रेन में प्रोटीन और लिपिड के वो बने हुए हैं टेंड्रॉन्स उसकी जो लोकोमोशन में हेल्प आउट करते हैं तो ये एंटी बैक्टीरियल सोप तो इसके लिए नहीं है वो तो एंटी वायरल सोप होना चाहिए ना फिर वो बताया ना कि एंटीबैक्टीरियल सोप जो है वो वायरसेस को किल नहीं करता इसलिए क्योंकि वायरसेस को एंटीवायरल प्रोडक्ट यूज करनी चाहिए तो एंटीवायरल तो सोप बन सकता है अभी तक मैंने तो उसका नहीं सब तो अगर मतलब तो इसमें बैक्टीरिया को किल करने के लिए कुछ है तो हम वायरल को किल कर सकते हैं आई मीन किल नहीं कहना चाहिए कर सकते हैं सम एक्सटेंट तक सिंपल वन लेकिन मैंने जो सुना है वो तो ये कि वायरल तो अपना वो एंड अपना काम पूरा करता है और उसके बाद ही वो सर्कल पूरा करने के बाद जाता है से वो तो है सर लेकिन कुछ एक्सटेंड तक तो जैसे अब 60 परसेंट कोहल वाला कहते हैं सैनिटाइजर यूज करने कुछ एक्सटेंड तक उसके अल्कोहल के कुछ एलिमेंट्स जो उसको स्टॉप करते हैं फिल तो नहीं हंड्रेड परसेंट कह सकते स्टॉप कर सकते हैं चले ठीक है थैंक यू वेरी मच नाइस टॉक थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच किसी और को कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना है कोई और देना चाहता है प्रेजेंटेशन या बस चले बाकी वो तैयार करके देखें इसको तो बाकी मार्क्स वगैरह फिर मैं बता दूंगा मिड के जो भी है वो इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस आपको नेक्स्ट वीक में बता देंगे फिलहाल आप तैयारी करें मिड की और नेक्स्ट वीक क्विज दें और ऑनलाइन जो आपका मैंने कहना अपनी असाइनमेंट जो तो अभी आपकी इस वीक में आपने जमा करवा देनी है वो उसका रिस्पांस दे देना वो आपने ऑलरेडी की हुई है और दो जो है वो नेक्स्ट वीक में जिसमें एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रिडॉक्स और आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन ये दो आपने नेक्स्ट वीक तक अपलोड कर देनी है मिड से पहले बस आपके बाद नेक्स्ट वीक है तो उसमें तैयारी करें एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लक आप सबके लिए टाइम भी पूरा हो गया ढाई बज गए हैं एक बजे से ढाई बजे हमारा टाइम भी पूरा हो गया वो किसी ने कोई क्वेश्चन करना तो पूछ लें वरना फिर आपकी नेक्स्ट क्लास होगी फिर कोई और चीज पूछना चाहें नहीं तो फिर अल्लाह हाफिज गो टू द करो करी ऑलरेडी इन करो करी एंड एंजॉय अल्लाह हाफिज जाए फिर